All right, so this is a suggestion via donation. The name of the video is Marriage is Like Alcatraz. This is coming from Jeff Dunham. Let's jump into it, guys. I have to have help. I have a friend up here. I think audiences enjoy this guy because everyone knows someone like this. You know someone like this in your own family or where you work. Please help me welcome Walter. All right, let's go. All right, it's a super honorary elderly man. Good evening, Walter. Oh, shut the hell up. <laughs> you know where we are? Yeah, I know where we are. I don't give a damn either. Just want to get the hell out of here. Where do you want to go? Who the hell cares? I don't know. Right, right. But you like it here in Montreal, Montreal. <laughs> 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 Bonjour. Right. Whatever the hell that means. <laughs> but you like you do like Montreal. Yeah, a lot of drinking going on here. Yeah, yeah. Budweiser's considered a soda. I mean, listen, listen. Budweiser is not the best. Is the, it's not the best refreshment. All right. Absolutely, it is not. Uh, it is very light, uh, unnaturally light. Almost tastes like water was mixed into probably three fourths of the bottle. Could be wrong. Yeah, I was in a bar last night sitting next to a guy. He put away 15 beers before he started acting like a jerk. <laughs> you didn't try and keep up with him, did you? Come on, man. I'm an American. I don't need beer to act like a jerk. <laughs> I mean, that absolutely is our reputation worldwide. <laughs> Shut the hell up. If you don't want to stay, where do you want to go? I don't care. How about where you went last weekend? No, I don't want to talk about that. It was very nice. Walter and his wife went on their second honeymoon. Yeah. <laughs> like eating a piece of gum you already chewed. See, they know what I'm talking about. <laughs> well, Walter, I understand your wife's in town. Yeah, she's in town. She's been having a good time. Oh, she always has a good time. Right. Pisses but to me you. Off. Right. I think You've been married, what, 46 years? That's right. Do you remember the happiest moment of your life? Yeah, it was 47 years ago. Bro, there's something about how, how like, men that have been married for, like, 30, 40 years, like how they describe their life. It is so miserable, guys. Uh, it is so miserable. But then if you were to ask like the other person, the happiest times of their life. Why is it that, that, that these elderly men are sacrificing their lives to be absolutely miserable? <laughs> they are all like well, this. Well, you seem a little extra grumpy. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Maybe too much brand. Too much brand that you make you regular. Regular hell, I'm about three years ahead of schedule. Come <laughs> on, 46 years of marriage, what has that done for you? Look at my face. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for your service. Walter, you make fun of your wife a lot. You know, she could be gone for good one day. Stop teasing me. <laughs> Ever cheated on her? Hell no. Damn it. <laughs> you know, Walter, marriage is supposed to be forever. Well, it's taken too damn long. <laughs> so I take it there's been a little bit of arguing. Little bit. What do you argue about? She doesn't like it because I never put the toilet seat back down. What do you tell her? Learn. Why don't they put it back up? You about? She doesn't like it because I never put the toilet seat back down. Right. What do you tell her? Learn to hover. <laughs> exactly. Right. I mean, listen, it's, it sounds fair. Just put the toilet seat back up when you're done. All right? <laughs> what else does she not like? I don't know. I always pick my nose and I'm driving. That's a man's right, dang blasted. Why do you pick your nose when you're driving? Because my ass is too hard to reach. Walter, Mar right, right, <laughs> marriage right. is supposed to be an institution. Yeah, like Alcatraz. 
You can't compare marriage to prison. Yeah, I guess Go you're ahead. right. The warden doesn't max out your credit cards. Whoa. So that happens. She buys some of those useless crap. You know what she got me the other day? What? Some of that spray-on hair stuff. Did you use it on our chihuahua? <laughs> Turn it into a shit zoo. Walter, do you think about getting old? I don't worry about it. I figure I want to go like my uncle did. How was that? Peacefully and in his sleep. Unlike right. the passengers in his car. I'm appalled, guys. Sit the hell down. <laughs> Sit the hell down, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a ticket? <laughs> 300 million sperm, that's the one that got through, right? There. This man is live. Ro oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> The wheel is turning, but the hamster's dead. <laughs> Look, Walter, oh. do you have kids? Yeah, I got kids. What'd they give you for Father's Day? Card said I wasn't really their father. <laughs> that's awful. No, that's oh. what I asked for. Right. <laughs> yeah, my stupid son. You know what he wanted to get me? What, Go a ahead. tattoo? Did you get one? No. What if you had? Oh, I would have gotten a beautiful woman's face. Uh, where would you have put it? On my wife's face. Just, uh, oh, brutal guys. Yeah, my wife got me a look on reincarnation. Uh, okay. Do you believe in reincarnation? Yeah, I don't think so. Well, if it happens, who would you come back as? What would you do? I'd come back as my wife and leave me the hell alone. <laughs> Walter, how's your love life? Meaning sex? Yeah, none. None? Right. None. I thought right. making love got better with age. Uh, uh, guys, guys, listen, there's a story, all right? I'm not saying I'm involved in it, but there's a story that a lot of married men absolutely say, okay, regarding that very specific thing. Um, I expected him to say zero, right? Um, but either way. How's your love life? Meaning I don't know sex? what it is. Like, guys, I need multiple explanations on how on how that potentially happens within marriages. Like, what is it, right? You can't say, you can't say monogamy is everything and then withdraw. That's, that sounds like punishment, right? I mean, we can't stop paying paying the bills, can we? That's weird. So yeah, none, none, none. I thought making love got better with age. Hang on to that, green pal. <laughs> Well, do bald men make better lovers? I don't know. I never made love to a bald man. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with you? Hey, hey, hey. Stop hey. looking at me like that, sir. Right. Well, Walter, what's the difference between just sex and making love? 50 bucks. <laughs> Look, I don't mean to get personal, but how many, how many times a week do you and your wife make love? Times a week. I'm going to have to use Go. a decimal to answer this one. Right. <laughs> Walter, you just seem like a spry kind of guy. I mean, what, what keeps you hopping? Hemorrhoids? Bro, the oh, one-liners so are... Guys, you, you, guys, the one-liners are top tier. All right? Hemorrhoids are a problem? No, the they're responses? a hobby. What do you think? Right. Absolutely a hobby. Look, Walter, what, what do you think about when you're making love? Staying awake? <laughs> oh, look, that guy's wife just poked him. Okay, guys, guys, yes, more of this. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, listen, king of like responding. Guys, like instantly. Like, I mean, he even went after the crowd in a very live manner. We're here for every aspect of this, guys. Um, please let me know the next one of these from Jeff Dunham. I should be checking out. Uh, and I will get into that as soon as I possibly can. All right. Listen, you guys all have an absolutely, you guys all have an absolutely amazing day and enjoy your day thoroughly. All right.